So I'm starting things off here with the L00, okay? This is a parlor size guitar. And as you can hear, it's a little tighter on the low end, more focused. It's great for finger style and for smaller frames here, okay? Uh, you're gonna have your mahogany back and sides, Sitka spruce top, of course, and it does have a pickup system in here. It's the LR Bags VTC pickup system, which is the under saddle pickup that we talked about earlier. Yeah, it's cool because you've got the volume and tone controls neatly tucked in there at the sound hole. So it's not in the way at all. Really nice guitar here. And uh, you know, you've got those uh, Grover uh, tuners on the back to keep things nice and tight on the tuning. Rosewood fingerboard. Really cool little guitar here. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit smaller, and again, you like that tighter low end uh, kind of thing, I think this is perfect for all of you players out there. All right, and here we have the Hummingbird, a classic. You know it from just the pick guard there. This is our square shoulder here. We're gonna have a little bit more bass and a little bit more volume as well, right? And this uh, refers back to, uh, if you ever heard the term dreadnought acoustic, this is the definition of that body styling there. Really nice guitar. Again, the mahogany back and sides. And uh, what's cool on this is you got that gold hardware for those uh, vintage deluxe tuners there, really nice. Also electronics on board, the VTC LR bag system under saddle with the uh, volume and tone controls there. I mean, again, it's, uh, it's great for the singer-songwriter because of its uh, deep range here. And it can get real intimate, as you can hear when you're doing some finger style stuff. This is a staple, okay? If you want to get a little fancier than the J45, and, and again, you want that little bit of uh, low end growl and mid range in the lows, definitely want to go with this one here. It's a classic and it's tried and true. 